welcome ladies and gentlemen. The bowl season for 2024 has just started, but here we are on the last Sunday in April for the final of the Peter Marrow Memorial Piers and it's a very sunny Bellingham club we're at today. The final is Kevin Shaw and Wayne Ditchfield against Chris Cook and Neil Biffle. There's two on the card, first to 21 up, as per normal. It's a bright sunny day and I can't see what I'm doing, but never mind. First bowl of the final, blue bowl of Kevin Shaw, just behind the jack. They're playing for a first prize of £500, which is certainly not to be shifted up. Lift up. But uh, the way things are going, let's tell of a start from Kevin. And Chris is not short with this. Get on in the head, lads. Sorry, jockey. Jesus Christ! It's some start the uh, Shaw Ditchfield partnership have made. You can't get them that close in the bag. Bad bowl from Wayne now, had a chance to lie four. So you imagine Neil's just trying to play a saver. And it needs to run for me. Yeah. Well, score in the background. Come on, man. Give him an edge Deep into the corner, both blue bowls are Kevin, one by the jack, one a little bit further off and Chris has not sent a bowl in the final so far and this is not short. But it saves. This looks underneath from Neil. Five three, sorry five two so far. This is getting another. Well, you may have heard the instruction from Chris Cook. Play for the jack for four. And Neil's still looking at it. Is it just narrowing on him? 
Yeah. Two more. Seven, two. I say first to 21, and for this year's Peter Marrow Memorial Pairs competition. To be a th looks to be a yeah, thumb peg mark. The jack's just staying on the green, as you're about to see. Kev, don't like it. Within. Try and get them up. Uh, no, probably see. See. Yeah. Well, good ball from Chris. First one he's played. Yeah, go. Come, mate. Positive. Well, I'll be there earlier. Yeah. Well, One for it, back. And um, Neil's not reached, so that gives Wayne a, a bowl to play at. Three without it, whatever pace you want. He had the instructions from Kev. Beyond the bowl. Underneath, says Wayne. Ricochet. No. Nope. Well, positive, this is. Sorry, six foot off. Six foot, says Chris. Not sure it's six foot off. <laughs> Would have been all right without hitting that jockey. He's quite a good commentator on his bowls as Chris, so I'm, I'll be leaving him to do most of the work. Lies one. Not with a great bowl either, but hasn't got to be a great bowl to win, just closer than anything else. Uh, you won't be happy with that second bowl of his. Yeah. Drop it around the front, those two front bowls will be Wayne's. Yes. Uh, Wayne's target needs to whip now. Need you here, lad. 
There's a ton of room to Longley Jack and this is looking too far from Neil. Needs a connection. Not a great end so far. And only one bowl left. This looks like it might be the best bowl of the day. The best bowl of the end, uh, the, the match. So there is it out. Two, nine, three. Unusual for 2024. It's not raining today. Um, and since there's not a cloud in the sky, it'll be somewhat annoying if we get any now. He said run away, but you know, that's not the worst effort you'd ever see in your life. Chris is just trickling past the jack, but won't go out. Ah, oh, that's a nice little nudge on the... From Kev. I say, looks. With being such a wet year, everything's, every green's holding a bit of moisture, and this is just dried out a little bit in places. Getting a bit more finished than what the players are expecting. Narrow. I probably won it if it was on the land. And this bowl of Neil's is just gonna. Got nip on you. Yeah. Three foot in it. advice thinks he's still in. Get on, lad. Get on, lad. This should finish. This will, should be the closest of the, of the end. Ball this way. Hmm. It finished bad for him, really. Yeah. One, please. Four, nine. And Chris has gone on a thumb peg mark through the middle of the green. Heading off into the distance. Probably going 40 metres. And Kev's, with that swing and delivery of his, has been a bit enthusiastic with it. I think those two bowls of Chris are a long way short, but they like to. Now, can Kev get by them? Well, he's knocking one a good one. Mm. Yeah, this bowl of Neil's not reaching. 
considerable peg. Not really. No. Not where that last ball's finished. Yeah, alright, well, play on mine then. That's fine, you've a chance. It's, it's way in there. It's way in there. Yeah. That's a waste of a good bit of land. And Neil's, well, he's certainly further than his first, but I'm, it needs it needs to go at right angles now. Yeah. Made it on a length. Well, wait. He looks narrow to me. Well, that extra pace held it. I'm not, not certain what it's done, though, to the. Yeah, it's saved. Yeah, a useful ball to save. Scores on the door with the block in his hand, Chris Cook and Neil Biffle five, Kevin Shaw and Wayne Ditchfield nine. Finger peg mark. 30 metres or so. And as you can see it, decent length from Chris, but Pecking more, balls are pecking more than what the jacks do. Chris didn't like his closest bowl, almost condemned it. Right. Kev's not reaching again. He's further. If he finishes weak, it'll win. He wasn't happy with it, but it's, it drifted against the bias at the death. Uh, the instructions to Williams to play as if they're not in. Well, and if in doubt, on, put one on the jack. It's all one though, isn't it? It's all one though, mate. I'm trying to get rid of that if I were you. Instructions are to strike at it. Incoming. Good effort. Yeah, OK. Well, clipped it over. Hang on. I think one down, but with two against that, if you can see it, I think you can see it from peg. From peg, says Kev. <laughs> oh, if it... One, please. First bowler, Kevin, just in the way. To be honest, if he missed it, he had a hell of a chance of taking it out. Yeah. Six nine, first to twenty one. The Peter Maddow Memorial Pairs competition held at the Bellingham on a very, very sunny last Sunday in April.
Not a, not to be a better end already after two bowls and the last time they were down there. Give up is the cry. Wait. Can hardly need anything on it to put it in. That bowl of Chris's did what he didn't want to do, ran into the back of Kevin's bowl, knocked it. He looks to be a, a bowl or so past the length. I think Neil fancies finger peg more, but his partner says thumb peg. But it's Neil's bowl, so he's turned over. Finger peck at it. Needs a connection. Real. It's still in, but it's really you can't hit worse than that, can you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I drum that peg. I don't, I don't want to be too jack. No, no. I drum that peg, try and play a length, and it's short for 20 years. Yeah, that instruction from Kevin. Play a length of the peg. Certainly don't hit the wrong ball, and that's what he's done. You're in, you're out. Hang on, mate, hang on. Once you deposit it, you can sit on this, and the touch of the jack, and the touch of the jack, and the touch of Be positive. Trying to sit on the ball. I don't. No. Bit of a survey. Yeah, Wayne's, Wayne's going down to have a look. by what I can see here, which is obviously nothing like what you can see over, standing over it. Wayne didn't take Kevin's blue bowl out. I think if you're going to play, if you're going to play a length this, you've got to go thumb peg at it. Or if you try and play off, play off the bowl, Although the, the temptation would be for me just to play a rambler into it and connection might take the block off the green as well. I think it's the kind of speed of the aim for Kevin's left handed blue bowl, thumb peg, and the pace will keep it off. What they don't want to do is take Kevin's bowl out. But There's a few different options, and they've had a good look and a good chat about it. <laughs> Many options discussed. And it's a runner. done something miraculous and not discussed they've probably discussed about half a dozen or ten options and the one that actually ended up being played is not what was discussed <laughs> I 
one. After all that, ten six is the play. One finger peg, almost as far into the corner as you can. One the thing about bowling greens is that you need plenty of seating around for all your spectators. And a tradition that has been going for many a long year is to have seats or benches named in honour and in memory of bowlers no longer with us. And the one in the background there is in memory of Neil Kirkman. and much missed player from West Orton, who was also a member of this club. Pass that again, club. Six line to go eleven six. Yeah, yeah standard. Yeah. Now lav eleven no line to go twelve six. On the outside of it. Having a bit of luck last few ends of the Shaw Ditchfield partnership. Kevin from West Orton, Wayne from um, you can beat them, you Preston Way. I didn't know, but I've forgotten where he's from. This bowl of Neil's is just whipping away. Light. Two is, two is the contribution to the score. Have a fall of Neil's. Look like they're going to change their order. Chris Cook's been following Kevin and they try and change the look. Sending Neil to the front. Finger peg. Just about as far as you can go on this green. Off into the corner. Where the jack is, don't be underneath the land. Well, it looks as though Neil's give up and Kev's barely over a length, and he's not short with this. Certainly not improving on his first. from Neil. It's probably still a yard off. Needs to run, needs to peg. To finish the length. Those strange animal noises with Chris Cook realising he's not sent one. Have we two seconds? Yeah. Just for you. to be at the bowl. Wayne's played at it. They're still looking at it. Yeah, Jack's off the green. We'll replay the end. This 
score remains 12-6. And you imagine from where that jack has finished, Kev will be going on a probably a near enough 50 metre mark into this corner from where they came. As you can see, well, between two and three feet off for Kevin, and Neil's bowl is, you know, yeah, Neil Bithell's bowl just give up. Reeling from Mr. Shaw. Neil's passed his own. Oh, could have done without that rub, but it may have it may have actually made it a bit worse. I think it might have put at least one ball bang in the land. And away his balls on the right. It's well, it's not short. Just coming into shot. Yep. On and to far. Oh, Chris has played at it. He's been really aggressive at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Well, only one. So Wayne wants to try and get another. It needs to run. It needs to run a bit more. It's just well, not going to get it. <laughs> and Chris has played a ramble at it and it doesn't like it. Looks underneath. Underneath it is. 13-6. to change tactic. Oh, well. Slight delay as Chris Cook has just gone off on a toilet break. Chat amongst yourselves, Chris will be back in a minute. It's almost one of those strategic timeouts, isn't it? Could do with a delay, so we'll have a, I'll, I'll just go to the toilet. No, I'm, I'm just chatting away to myself, you know, no, I mean, waiting for the action to start again. Chris is back. Yeah, I don't want to have one. Kev's gone as 
far as possible to go with the jack. Oh, it's that a bit quick. Neil's bowl, I'll say if you're underneath, you run the risk of your bowl falling off the green, and that's all that's wrong with Neil's. There's to be a bowl, bowl or so higher and land. And this one of the curves is just on, on the very safe side, it's definitely not going to go off because he's not there. And I don't think Neil is a particular fan of what he's done with this. It needs to run to count. Yeah, it's only one, but here comes Wayne's. Just underneath, a yard over. And Chris, well, can't afford to be short, of course. So came so close to sitting on Kevin's bowl. Yeah. Again. Wayne's bowl drifts off. So I'm, I'm just almost surprised. Chris has not played at Kevin's bowl. But whipped off it. Yeah, he's whipped off it. Counts 7 13. I think Neil will be overly happy with his lead. And that re reply of Kevin's has just won it, but is a bit wide. <laughs> That's a real good second from Neil. <laughs> yeah. Just Pegnado was Kevin's bowl. Makes another, I think. <laughs> Well, advice from Kevin is to strike at them. Wayne just fancies, I think, just settling into them. and just decide to put one three inch behind the jack. And Chris is after this, he's still looking at this. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Too dangerous to try and play. I hope you picked up the, the advice there. Wayne's turned over. A thumb peg. It's a would have been a. Fourteen seven as they play. Now, I imagine that Kev will play a distance, so coming to the opposite corner, I think. I imagine it'll be thumb peg underneath the crown. <laughs> This has actually come with a peg and it came finger pegging at that ball. Yeah. Kev, looks better with this. Yeah, yeah that's won it. But say Chris has only got to beat his own ball by a couple of feet. Has sailed too far. From Peg, from Wayne, looks good. This he thinks it's short, but it's not. Closest to the lot. And Neil's come the same way. Fourteen seven as they play. Line to go, 16. Playing for £500 first prize. F finishes again. This just get another. And this one of Neil's looks on the road. In with a squeak, this. He's near played one. plays from this corner there's a finger peg this must be 40 meters heading off into the distance Kevin okay, will be thinking if he's a yard further he's a good one Chip the jack. Sorry, Chris has chipped the jack. You would imagine that Kev's won that because it's almost the length. And this bowl of Chris's looks all right to me. As long as it doesn't go down that little gentle slope. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, 
Yeah, probably won it. Does Wayne's ball need to run a bit? The finishing off to get another, so to win it. I think it's give up. This ball kneels underneath, needs to peg now. Might do it a little length. Is it worth playing on to Chris's now? As soon as you just lick it, if you happen to sit that, you make, you make three. Don't play for that, just play to lick it. Move by some Cadden, play to lick it. Basically, he's, he's playing just to beat his own. Wayne, Wayne thinks he's too far. Ah, good ball. And Neil's played, he's played a few yards over to sit on it. Cursed, a cursed ball if ever I saw it. Hit what he wanted to hit, but has hit it onto Chris's ball. And you think he may have made it worse. Yep, yeah, it was one down after that ball, which was almost perfect from Neil. It's three down, 18-7. Thumb peg from Kevin. Probably 40 metres or so. And that's not the worst bowl in the world. Obviously required just three for game, but I like this bowl of Chris's. That bowl of Chris's will not be easy to beat, but Kev still looking at it. It will just need to drift past his bowl. Like that. Yeah, real unlikely. No, I've got, I've got, I've got that one. I press record as well, which is, which is the fun thing. <laughs> press pause. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! It's like a real unlikely. If he hits, it blocks coming here. Yeah, but it's still a tennis club. Yeah, trust me, put one four foot past it. Even some peg if you want, just get it to you. Well, I say any kind of connection on the jack will move it back and Try and get it off, lad. Instructions to try and get it off, but if it hits Chris's bowl, yeah. the lie game down. Happy to take the one rather than be, one than be aggressive. No, 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 let him do that. Now he can chip his bowl out. That bowl of Kevin's can. It's almost on the jacket. He can chip that out. Yeah, 
Yeah. One more. 197. Okay, first to 21. 500 pound first prize. Finger peg, they're probably gonna be 45 meters, if not slightly more. It's a yard short from Kevin and it's three or four yards short from Neil. You can get underneath that, that finger peg and it'll just peg a foot or so. As long as you miss it. There, yeah, he's on the top side, but gets another. Neil passes his own by two or three yards of running. If he passes his own, So, delay up. Be a miracle, well, yeah, okay. Be a miracle of that bowl of Wayne's reaches. And Chris, is he far enough? Oh, the peg. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is game. The winner, the 2024. Peter Marrow Memorial Pairs, Kevin Shaw and Wayne Ditchfield with a score of 21 7. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see on the channel, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.